Here's an easy as it can be flooded valley chimps black border strategy. We're gonna start off with a sub right here and this is gonna have to slow it down or pause it. I'm putting it not quite on the wall right there and where you can see right here, it kind of overlaps with this line here. Sounds crazy, but it works every single time and you don't have to worry about it. Now the stress part here, as soon as you get $350, I'm gonna drag it and not use hotkeys so you on mobile can do it as well. As soon as we get 350, we're gonna drag this guy here, right in that spot right there. Not as fancy of a spot, doesn't really matter. I just place him down so he can shoot straight down this line and then you're good for that round. During round 10, place a brickle to where she kind of like shoots up this spot right here. So like right in that area. We're looking for her pistol to shoot straight up so it can get the most pops possible. We're then going to place a bow and place it as close to brickle as you can and close to this wall. So just kind of just jam it up in this area right there. Grabbing grape shot, faster shooting and double shot. Now we're going to go down to our sub and grab some longer range, advanced intel, and we're going to grab submerged support, but not until the end of round 23. So for round 23, we're going to actually blast our first ability so we don't have any problems here. And then we're going to hit submerge and support, right? And then as soon as that green goes through and is decamoed, we're going to go back to first so we can help pop all these balloons. And we're going to grab him twin guns. Go back to your boat and grab hot shots so we can pop those leads on round 28. Grabbing a cannon ship on 29. As soon as you can, grab airburst starts and make sure auto start is off before round 33. So for 33, we're going to submerge our sub. Now, I like to slow it down whenever the yellow ones come in contact because they scare me every single time. But we've gotten them every single time because we went with the airburst starts, which is the faster spinning path, which is nice. Now, we're going to unsubmerge our sub grabbing plutonium reactor on round 35 and changing back to submerge so now he has a plutonium reactor boss during round 39 near the end we're going to be grabbing our monkey pirates but we're not using the pull down ability for this mob it will not be here in time so as soon as it gets in range of our bubble we're going to hit our first ability and this thing will go down easy because everybody's buffed up from brickle now we're going to place another boat right next to brickle as close as we can close to this wall as well just right there grabbing grape shot faster shooting double shot and on 43 sometimes we get some trouble so I'm going to blast that first ability because no reason not to and then we're going to grab the destroyer on round 44 right there and let's grab our p aircraft carrier plane on round 48 and hot shots right after on 54 we're going to pull the first boat that we see we're just going to pull it down just get it out of here we don't want to mess with it because sometimes it'll wreck you up and we don't need any of that happening to us on 55 there are four rushes of ceramics that is one that is two that is three on this fourth one. We're not taking no chance. So we're going to grab that first ability and that thing is done for. We don't mess around on 57. So we're going to pull that boat too because we don't want to take no chances. And we're going to just hit our first ability for that second rush of Moabs. Now you don't really need any of these abilities that I'm doing. But what we're doing is we're eliminating all of the RNG that I have faced on the dozens of attempts I have made to get this thing perfect. So I'm just making it easier for you guys. So you don't have to go through it a hundred times. Just do it the one time. On 59, as soon as you can, we're going to grab this little pirate lord here and now you're pretty much good to go because pirate lord is broken right now and can destroy everything 63 is one of those scary rounds so what we're going to do is as soon as that first rest gets in our range we are going to use our first ability and get rid of it make it no big deal and then we're going to actually smash our second ability so it, i think it just throws out more bombs who cares but it's whatever it just helps you out and then we're going to slow it down every time that rush gets in our way because it does get a little scary here and as you can see pirate lord is literally just wrecking everything so for 75 we're going to be upgrading to our top path boat but I need to get ready for it because this is a scary round so what we're going to do is we're going to use our boat pull ability just like that pull a couple of those things down just to help us out then we're going to use our first ability and just kind of click on this thing and get ready for it and as soon as we can we're going to use our carrier flagship 75 is done you can now turn off auto start if you'd like and then we're going to take an ice monkey and place it right here going all the way to the bottom path but before we upgrade them too far we got to make sure we have 78 covered because the camo is going to get us at the end so just get a 300 sub and that'll decamo everything and we'll get right through it then grab icicles changing targeting to strong permafrost and cold snap now you don't have to do this but if you want to guarantee victory every time i see a zomg just pull it with the boat ability it comes back really fast because we have the sub top path making it speed up its recovery so let's pull down that zomg on round 85 grab our icicle and pale we're going to fully utilize this top path boat by taking an ice monkey going up to middle path enhance freeze deep freeze arctic wind snowstorm permafrost and cold snap now using that new found platform that we got from the ice factory 
We're gonna place a village all the way to the left and all the way to the bottom as far as we can go without being in the red zone, grabbing bigger radius, jungle drums, and primary training. Make sure your boat is in range, the pirate lord, and he is, so we're good to go there. And then our last two towers we're gonna be placing are two more subs. Just put them in range of the village, doesn't really matter where. We're gonna go heat tip missiles all the way to the middle path ballistic, and then advanced intel, we're gonna save up for that first strike capability. Now 94 looks a little bit too intense for me, so I am going to use my ability. I just waited till like I saw a couple of mobs in the middle. It really doesn't matter. Your timing just don't wait till the end when they're already through and you lose. We're going to grab our first strike and then 95 we're just going to breeze through. The icicle impale literally just takes it out itself because it's, it's great. It really is great. We're going to take another sub right here and place him eh, like in this area next to the village. Again, grabbing barb darts, heat tip darts. Ballistic missiles, longer range, advanced intel. 96 scares me too with all these fortified, so I am going to use my first ability again there. You probably don't need it, but every time I see fortifieds, I just get really scared. Now you can pull 97 to speed it up a little bit, but make sure we turn auto start off for 98 because 98 is a terror. First thing we're going to do is we are going to put our ice monkey on first because ceramics will get through if you do not. Next, what we're going to do as soon as the ZOMGs are on screen, we're going to be pulling them with our boat pull like that. And then as soon as everything comes kind of clusters up in the middle and scares us half to death like it's about to do we're going to be using our first ability luckily it's still not there yet but now they're in the middle i don't like it we're going to do that and then we're also going to freeze everybody too because since we have that top path one they kind of like still stay a little frozen which is nice and then as soon as we get our boat pull ability back just pull that thing 98 is a breeze a long winded breeze but it works then we're going to move our ice monkey back to strong for 99 because it's awful and we're going to upgrade to first strike for this one and use your ability on 99 as well as once everybody's kind of clumped up in the middle there those ddt's now here's how we're going to play round 100 first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your little brickle bomb and place it right there and then you're going to hit one first strike capability just like that. Now what's gonna happen is that back tail fin's gonna get, you know, it's band-aid on it, whatever happens. And we're gonna let it get to a little bit farther down the line. So it's gonna get it right around there. And as soon as he makes that little bend, we're now we're gonna hit it. And it's just gonna one shot it, game over, done. And if you like this walkthrough, check out this one on another expert map known as Infernal, where we make it super easy and you get a black border.